This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's uh, mid-January 2021. And I've uh, been working through different machinations, different concepts, different ideas for placing my two AO lithium batteries in my travel trailer. I've gone through this uh, several ways. I've thought about a different concepts and uh, it's uh, been waning my weighing on my little tiny little brain quite a bit so let's turn around the camera and show you what I'm up to. Here's a shot of my pass through storage and here's where I currently have a, a battery uh, a wet cell battery and uh, I marked in red the various uh, connections here. Again, this have a little, uh, little con you know, what do you call it, bridge here. It's probably a more technical term for that, but basically it bridges uh, several items right here. And this is your positive, it has one positive, okay? And then it has two negatives, one, two. And the two negatives come from that direction, through that little hole. So I was thinking about uh, just getting a larger uh, battery box because this battery box is a few inches too short and placing my lithium batteries in there. My batteries are top of the line pretty much. These AO lithium batteries are absolutely top of the line batteries. They have, uh, you know, the shut off in case it gets too cold and it won't charge. So that's a premium feature for a lot of manufacturers out there. So. So uh, I'm going to put, the two batteries won't fit there. I'm not going to put one, I want to have two. So this is about two inches, uh, two uh, short. And you have a little bit of room on each side to add another box if I wanted. But I said, nah, it's more of a pain in the ass to find a box or build something. Of course, I went through different permutations in my brain. I said, hey, why don't we build something? Why don't we uh, make something out of aluminum? Why don't we make something out of wood? Let's make something out of steel. Of course, I don't have a welder. I don't have a riveter. Uh, and I don't have any uh, shop tools to, for chopping wood. Uh, I don't have a table saw. So, you know, I can imagine the concept, but uh, actually uh, following through and making something would be rather difficult. So what I came with, what I felt I should do is essentially right here, just add a, a two watt cable going through that hole and under the you know the front of the pass through these two these two right here one and two can just I can just loosen down here this little contrivance as a bolt and it's a very secure connection by the folks at Rockwood Flagstaff and I'll just pull it back through there and uh, place my battery somewhere in this mess. I'll have to, of course, rearrange all this junk. There's my uh, equalizer hitch and uh, fresh water hoses, all kinds of stuff, cooler back there. So apparently, apparently, from what I understand, behind this wall, behind that wall, which I'll have to loosen with a few screws. I got one, two, and quite a few screws going away all the way across. I'll have to take this apart. And on the other side of this is the inverter. So what I'm thinking about is connecting the inverter directly to the battery or just connecting that uh, that positive to the battery that way. I have two options. Connect it directly to the inverter or just connect it through that circuitous route to the inverter. What do you think, uh, what would you do in this situation, of course. Uh, I have a limited skill set. Uh, you have to understand that I'm not very good at uh, electronics. I don't have a lot of tools. Most of my tools are for maintaining the lawn and stuff like that. You know, those are my tools. So let me show you underneath what I plan to do. Oh, I'm good at crawling underneath things, okay? So here we are. There's that uh, wiring I was talking about, and right here, pretty solid drill a hole smallest hole possible and then put the battery box a nice uh, like a noco battery box there and call it good okay 
and uh, add a fuse. Now that's another question. What fuse should I use? A lot of you will say, hey, get the top of the line Victron things for, you know, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars and that'll work. But of course, uh, what are you, who are you talking to? A cheapskate, okay? So, cables, move, take them from the battery box and move them right over here and shove them inside into a NOCO battery box, which would be in the uh, pass-through storage. So what do you think of that? Ooh, let me get back out. Ah. Hey, I made it. Ooh. So that's the plan. What do you think? Again, the inverter's over here. Cut a hole over here. Put a NOCO, very nice battery box. Bigger than need be. A little bit insulated. And then right over here, move this cable, replace the cable with a bigger cable going back over there. And these two other cables, one and two, I'll shove back inside, okay? Do you think that's a good idea? Do you think that's even a, a decent idea? You tell me. I'm going to turn around the camera now. Here it comes. So that's me in my uh, idea. What do you think of my idea? Don't forget to leave your kind, again, super kind, <laughs> and friendly comments below abajo. Por favor, si tienes el tiempo. Again, uh, I am not a mechanic. No, no way, Jose. I've done, uh, back in the day, back in the 60s and 70s, I would, you know, switch out a transmission or, you know, change out a clutch and pressure plate and do the brakes and stuff like that. And stuff like that back in the days when cars were relatively simple, I would do things like that. On my Austin Healey, my 57 Chevy, my Volkswagen Bug, stuff like that, but not anymore. So, electronics is a bit of a pain for me. Okay? So, please leave your kind and super, super, super friendly comments below. Thank you very much. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. This has been a very short video by Jesus Manuel Menegaras. I just basically try to ask for your help and suggestions. And if you want to come down and help me out, come on down. I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm a nice guy, relatively, my wife says. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios, bye-bye.